the mellow vibe sure Yo, man, tune in, baby. Oh, boy. Yeah. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, welcome <laughs> to the Mellow Vibe Show. Welcome back. Another. Man, it. It's been crazy. Welcome I'm... back to the Mellow Vibe Show, you guys. Excuse welcome me. back to I'm you all <laughs> and welcome back to me. Like, I, I really feel like I'm back at home right now. This is awesome. Oh, we missed you, though. Oh, thank you. Try to hold it down, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Most Hell definitely. yeah. Like, what's been going on in your world you know, since the last time we've been together? Um, Do I sound like a, a R&B jazz DJ right now? Is that, yeah, you just sound like you're now tuned in to the right quiet so smooth, storm. Right. But this is DJ man, I Kale haven't been doing jazz. a little bit of nothing really. really. I mean, same thing. Just having tests and homework and life of a student. And about done, so happy. Hey, but that. that's basically what's been going on. Um, working, of course, getting to this money, meet, yeah. meeting people, networking, enjoying life, I, being I, happy. I swear, for like the last like month or so, like the act, my actual nine to five has been like the least of my concerns. Like yeah, I've I know. really. <laughs> It's I'm like you way. clock in and then you just clock out and you're like, okay, yeah, that part of the day or that part of my life it can now go on the back burner. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's exciting when you, you have a lot of different things going on because mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to get bogged down by any one particular thing. Mm -hmm. So I agree. That's why, I, I mean, I really enjoy doing a lot of things. It keeps me productive, keeps me happy. True. And a nine to five will drain your ass, so it I got to have. I think it's just, <laughs> it's just something mentally about it because, like, if right. your only like your purpose is going to your nine to five then going home like then that because jobs suck can we be yeah. honest like i haven't i haven't seen yeah. a person yet with a job that's just like yo i just love my job like man eh. like not even when i know personally i see yeah. people yeah but. <laughs> on the gram and they probably flexing and <laughs> and yeah. so like this idea if you just if you just living for the job and you're not doing anything like for yourself Man, you are you are missing out on like eighty seven point three percent of life. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so the idea of keeping your mind occupied until many different things hard, man, it's hard to be depressed when you're moving a lot. It's hard to, to feel down on yourself when you're constantly doing something, especially when the things that you're doing are like things you enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Um I truly agree. I truly agree. My um I, that's one thing I'm always gonna remember my grandfather for telling me. He says the day you find a job is the day you uh, well the day you find a job that you love is the day you'll never work again. True. And I truly believe that because it's like once I find something I really love. Well, I already know what I really love. I just gotta get out there, and True. get my time invested into it. But I really believe in that. It. It's True. like if you can make your hobby, your job, your career, something you truly love, yeah. life is made. And it's not like we we aren't saying things that are like aren't breaking ground here. Like these are cliches as hell. But, like, by and large, I believe, like, cliches are cliches for a reason. Like, mm -hmm. the truth never changes. Mm -hmm. Like, if I tell you something today and next week is something different, then, you know, that, that's not a universal truth. But when things are, are set in stone, honest to God, true, you're going to hear it over and mm -hmm. over and over again because, man, it's, it's the truth. So when people are like, yo, find a job that you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life. Mm -hmm. Like, I've heard this since I was a child. Mm -hmm. And... Until I was like 22 or 23, I didn't really kind of internalize what the hell that actually meant. Because mm -hmm. you just you just think in your head, I'm 17, I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to change the world, like, I'm whatever. And But when you really get out there in the world and realize what it could potentially mean to just simply work a 9 to 5 for the rest of your life and then retire four years from now, not realizing any of the dreams that you had. I remember... Um, listening to a really great uh, audio tape. It was from um, Earl Nightingale, um, dude in the 50s, old head. And one of the things he mentioned was like just this idea of so many people just simply work their jobs and just that's it. Mm -hmm. So many people. And there's a point when everybody's 25 years old, y'all got these dreams, y'all got this. There's these big grandular dreams that you feel like you're going to achieve, but you know, of course, by the time you're 65, how many people have actually achieved those dreams? Right, not many. And there has to be some kind of disconnect there. With everybody has a big grandular idea, 
at 25 and then by 65 very few of them actually reach that idea There's something there in between that happened in those 40 years and what that is I, what i'm feeling is, is just action so so much of this stuff is like you got the dream to do it then do cool. it do it you have to do it that's what i you really sitting around your whole life saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and then you really don't do it. That's one thing I feel like sometimes I struggle with, but I'm really getting better with it. Yeah. And it's a lot of people that during times, like, a lot of things can happen between 25 and 65. You could easily yeah. just have a kid. You need to get a job. Do you get lost in that career when you didn't want to do that, but you just needed to provide. You know, we go to jobs, 9 to 5. Some people feel so bad, like 6 a.m. to, like, yeah five and shit like that shit sucks i would never want to do that but just thinking about it no one really has time to truly invest time in their dreams if they're giving their time to a business yeah so it's like at that point it just becomes just natural to a person to just get up and go to work and not even think about your dreams your dreams are put to the side now because all you're focused on is money at yeah. the time being instead of the the long term about it. You know I mean, the, the easiest thing in the world to do is to get comfortable. Content. Like, and right. the comfortable comfortability and the and the contentment that comes with just doing what everybody else. And again, this feels cliche, just saying, don't do what everybody else does. But it is super easy. It's comfortable. You can live a, a nice baseline life if you if you just just do what everybody else does. And it's it's simple. But the question is, will that truly make you happy? Mm -hmm. I remember we had a conversation the other day, and it was like the the wisdom of hindsight. Like how often older heads look at us as younger people and say that, man, they wish they were our age with the knowledge that they have. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if we realize how powerful that is because we can do the same thing where when you were – remember <laughs> – Remember how hard it was, how much of a task it was for you to complete high school, for mm -hmm. you to be like, man, I, this is, I'm, when you're there, when you're in the moment, you're yeah. like, man, I, I can, you know, I got to try so hard to do this or whatnot, and you just kind of slacked off, you just kind of stayed even, you found your comfort zone, you stayed there. And in hindsight, I don't care what I would have done. Like, I could have BS the whole time I would have graduated high school. That was simple. And like the you, the world's not created for us to not be successful. It's created for us to be successful to a point. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're gonna get above that point, we're gonna have to do something above and beyond. Mm -hmm. Like I'm saying with the high school analogy, where if you could go back now, knowing what you know now, if you could go back to high school, how much more would you have done to make yourself better prepared for college? How much more? And knowing the energy, how easy it would have been for you to just simply graduate high school. Mm -hmm. How much more energy, how much more effort, how much more attention to detail would you have done to get above and beyond what you did? Your 30-year-old self is looking at you right now mm -hmm. like, yo, it's going to be so easy. It's so, so, so easy to just get yourself a job, make fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year, have a family, and just do that. If that's what you want to do, it's super simple. It doesn't take effort to do that. But if you're trying to achieve, like, genuine dreams, um, trying to chase genuine, you know, fortunes or your ideal of success, mm -hmm. you got to go in above and beyond. And it's it takes effort, but mm -hmm. that shit is worth it, man. I totally agree. Yeah. yeah preaching over here. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely how I feel, too, man. Okay. I just, you know, I don't know if she's watching right now, but my mom, she always be like, Judine, you don't never just sit down. You're always trying to make, always trying to get a job or something, da, 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 da. I'm like, I can't stay still. I'm not content with being complacent ever. Like, I'm always trying to find the next thing I can do to better myself. And, unfortunately, let's be real. The world revolves around money. Yeah. I like money. I like getting money. Raising you know what I'm money. saying? <laughs> so nothing's going to stop me from achieving to get my money. Yeah. That's how I feel. I will work multiple jobs, quick jobs. It don't matter. Like, I'm not. That's why I feel like there's a disconnect because older older people, they feel like, oh, my gosh, y'all are not finishing school. Y'all are not, you know what I'm saying, doing this and that. We did this, and we had kids, and we had a family. and we did. It's like we don't want to do that. Yeah. We see bigger dreams out here now, bigger goals. And it's like, at this time and age, we can go out and get it now. Yeah. As African Americans, we really can. Yeah. We really can. So. I mean, it's really, we just got to make sure we maintain that mindset. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, everybody has this mindset at a point yeah. in their life. And there's some disconnect there where with the idea versus the action. 
It's really um, not being confident, too, at Ooh. the same time. So that's all it is, too. I mean, you keep your confidence and what you want to achieve, yeah. then you will do it. But if you feel like, okay, even if you get that one speck of negative energy in yourself saying, yeah. I can't do it, that shit would take over. I remember my seventh grade teacher, my seventh grade teacher, Mr. Marshall, man, this dude was the realist. I was at, a, I was at an alternative school, so he got to be a little more honest with us. Two things he told me, one completely off topic, the other was on topic. Um, he was like, you telling your dick your dick gets smaller. I don't know why that stuck. Like, in seventh grade, he told us that, and that shit stuck. I was like, what? Like, that's the realest shit ever. You telling your dick your dick gets smaller. That's real as fuck. But he also said, yo. <laughs> Facts. But he, also, but he also said, he said, um, if a man believes, there's, there's two people in the world, it's a man that believes he can and a man believes he can't. Guess what? Both of them are right. Uh-huh. If a man who believes he can and there's a man who believes he can't, mm-hmm. both of them are right mm-hmm. every single time. Like, you got to have this, like, to be successful, you got to have this belief in yourself that's unwavering. Like, I don't care what everybody else thinks about how kooky, crazy out there my ideas are. Man, fuck it. I got to believe that shit. Mm-hmm. I got to believe it with every inch of my heart because nobody else is going to believe it as much as you are. Facts. And, and if you doubt in yourself, then what the hell is everybody else going to feel? Facts. So, Facts. Yeah. Facts. No one else is going to care about yourself more than, nope. than yourself, honestly. Not, not, not your grandma. You got to do it. Mama, you really got to motivate not my yourself, dudes. Right? That's exactly how I be Not feeling. Uncle Candy. Well, not Uncle Candy. Whoa. <laughs> now, that who was, the fuck is that? That was a, that was a modern day <laughs> lifestyle. Who the fuck is Uncle that? Uncle Candy. Oh, like, shit. You can hang out with the, the Kardashians and shit, boy. Yeah. Uncle Candy. Uncle whoa. Bruce and shit. Bruce, Uncle Bruce. Uncle Candy used to be Uncle Bruce. Oh, right. shit. <laughs> <laughs> of course man y'all rocking out the mellow vibe show right here on instinct radio we love y'all for vibing out with us we mm-hmm. love y'all for tuning in with us yes. please tell us where you can find us at on social media everything mellow vibe show that's twitter instagram y'all, facebook y'all. snapchats individually i'm unearth grace no, i'm kill with the vibes because well i'm kill with the vibes Yes, I'm unearth grace on literally everything. So cool. yeah, fuck with us. Thank you guys so much for the love so far. The Instagram page is booming. I mean, the Twitter almost page. A thousand. Almost yes, a thousand. like, like that's awesome. So my proud. Last check. So are we rocking yeah. with y'all for rocking with us. Um, we got mm-hmm. to jump out here real quick, listen to some hot new music. Yes. Um, all that dopeness. Um, ride back in with us. We'll be back with Golden Gospel as well as a little bit of sports. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not tuning in to the very best is your truly jazzy fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. Yeah, yeah, it's the young god, Fresh Ali, 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 Fresh Prince of East Atlanta checking in one time with the Mellow Vibe Show at Instinct Radio. Y'all come get some of these good vibes, man.